Hello, it's Gloria here from Gloria's Greetings. I'm participating in Roxy's weekly challenge. Hope everyone is well. Roxy had a cool challenge this week. I really liked it was to create a double pocket signature page. So a page that you would actually sew into the journal. So I created this one using um, digitals from um, old design shop. So you would sew it into the signature here like a regular piece of paper and then you would have a double pocket one on either side. These are top loading. She also showed how you could, the way you glue it, you could also have a side pocket as well. So I created one with the digital and then I created one with some old vintage music paper and just some designer paper. Now this one I made a mistake. I don't know how I did it, but I did. So I cut it down and re-glued it, <clears throat> but it's kind of a, a sloppy rendition, but I'm sure I could save it somehow. So I thought this one, we could use some book page. So I cut, I just kind of tore down my pages so they are of the proper size. So we, she folded it over. Uh, this one's corner's already been ripped. So we'll cut this corner just so there's less bulk. It gives a little bit more room in the pocket. And then fold over how wide you would like your pocket to be. So keeping in mind that you would like it to fit in a journal and then folding this over not quite snug up to it but a little bit of a space so you could uh, sew this in the signature so then you would glue this down so why don't we do that and she glues on here almost like the little uh, flap of the pocket to make it a little bit bigger and along the bottom and then she just folds it over like that now this pocket would need some decorating because I have it torn at the bottom, but not a problem. I could cover that with some lace. And then she adds her notch so she remembers where it is. And then there you go. Normally this would be a hinged pocket. You could put on a page in a journal and it would hinge over. But we're going to use the hinge and the seam to create another one. And I do believe, yes. So I'm going to fold this over to create a pocket as well. And I will glue it, no, nope, this way. That's what I did wrong last time. And then I will glue it almost to the hinge there. Now they're not the same size, but it doesn't matter. As long as this pocket is under five inches, it will fit in a standard journal. So let's just do glue this one down then and finish it off, snipping the corners, just so you have extra room in there and it's not bulky. So let's do that. Now, which one do I want on the top? Yeah, I want that on the top. I went out and got myself some glitter glue. It's not glitter, it's just, if you're new to junk journaling, I love seeing everyone use them with that beautiful fine tip nozzle. And I have to say, I've used it yesterday and today, and to me, I love it and it's worth it. It is a little more money, but I do like it. Okay, so there's the second pocket we've created. And we can uh, punch a hole in the top, a notch, and then we can glue it down, fold over, and there you go. We got a little journal page that will be ready to be sewn in the journal. So let's just glue this down, and I think I'll just do it from this side on the hinge piece. Leaving that little space there at the fold. So it doesn't matter that they're not the same size because when they're in a journal like this, they're going to be on opposite sides of the journal. So I, I just think these are so cool. So I'll ink these up after. Um, I don't, everyone knows how to ink up um, the edges. So I'll just try to get a power through and get a few done. Um, showing what I do. I keep moving my, I have a new camera set up and I'm struggling. I don't know why, but I am. I, I'm having a hard time to get my, um, that holds the phone to stay still. But anyway, 
Here I have some coffee dyed gra uh, vintage um, ledger paper and a vintage map that I have coffee dyed. So I thought, well, we could do one out of those. Um, again, along with the spirit of using what you have, not having to feel like you have to go out and purchase um, items. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. To use in your junk journals. And glue that down. This is a smaller hinge, but we'll fold over the little hinge. So the seam is not butt up right against it. And then we will make a top pocket. And there we go. So let's do the same. Fold it there. Trim off my corners. And then fold over how wide I'd like the pocket. And just keeping in mind the width so it can be used in a, a journal because knowing me, I would do it incorrectly. And then gluing the hinge on top of this pocket. So perfect, I think I got it. So let's glue this down. I guess I should try and keep the glue on the part I want. Not glue my pocket closed. And along the bottom. There we go. So that is another pocket made. And obviously you can decorate these up, distress them. And then I'm just going to put the glue. I might glue this one a little bit closer and make that the hinge. Yeah. Let's glue that down as close as we can. right away around so that's okay they're all a little different I'm gonna have to put a little more glue there but that will be sewn into the hinge or into the journal so that will give it a little more strength actually but there you go so you have another page isn't that the coolest thing so there's with a vintage map like book page and ledger paper coffee dyed um, vintage book page vintage book page and designer series paper uh, let's do another one with um, the designer series paper and the book page. Let's see. Okay, I think I have one here. So I have two pieces here. So I was wondering if I wanted to make it a side pocket. How would I do that? Um, I would fold over the edge. No, I want this edge folded over because it has the, the title. Oh, but you won't see it. So yeah, I'll fold over the edge. Fold over how far I want the pocket. So I would want to open this side. So... Hmm. I think I'd have to fold it different. And I for the I can't think of how. Hmm. Oh well, we'll just make a top loading pocket. 
Maybe I'll have to go back and watch uh, Roxy's video and see if she did do a side one. And I try with the designer series paper to make the hinge a little smaller so when this goes on it covers it all up in the spine and you can't you can't really see um, see it at all. So for this one, I think I've made this too large, have I? Yes, I have. It's too big. So I'm just going to fold this side down too. <laughs> I always seem to get messed up with the design. This one. Okay. Let's just work on this pocket and go from there. Trim my corners. Sorry, I'm not a very good teacher. <laughs> That's the hinge. This is the flap to give extra room. And across the bottom, press it down. Yeah, because if you wanted it to be a side loading pocket, I think you would want it to be on the open page side, so I'm going to have to give that one some thought. If anyone has any suggestions, let me know. <laughs> and then I want this one. Well, I can butt up as far as you want, to be honest. Okay, so fold it over. How big is this pocket first? So I have it at four and a half. So the pocket as it stands right now is good. I can't exceed the paper to go past the hinge here. So let's just glue it down. Okay, then this would have to glue to there, I'm going to think, to make it under the five. No, it's still over five. So what am I doing wrong? Oh, maybe this one has to glue here. Like that. But I still think it's over five. Yeah, so this pocket is four and a half, and then that half inch makes it five. So, um, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I think I'm just going to butt this one up to there and glue it on. And I angled this, and I shouldn't have. Okay, well, that's a mess, but we're just going to go with it right now because I really, really messed this one up. And I'm going to put glue here as well. So I'm going to actually lay this here onto the seam, make the seam move in so my pocket's not too wide. And then this is going to fold over. Now, I don't hate that. I mean, I made it work. Yeah, it's still under five, so... And then we can pop, punch our holes. I don't love this, so I could cover this then with something when I decorate. But you get the idea. So there's one with the designer series paper, and I'm pretty sure I did it backwards, but it worked in the end. So here's two more. I'm going to use two pieces of um, old book page, and I just want the print. So I'm going to fold this one in. I think sometimes I get ahead of myself and then I don't, I'm not following through with how 
uh, Rachel did it. Okay, so glue this down to make my pocket. And across the bottom to the seam. So this is a narrower page, a shorter page, so it's going to be a narrower, but perfect size for a tag. Then she folds this over to make the hinge, and it's not but totally close to the paper. So we're going to do the same here, fold over and make our pocket. If I follow the steps, I should hopefully get it right. Glue our pocket closed. Up to the seam where we folded it. Fold over our pocket. Uh, turn it this way, I think. And then these are two different heights, but it doesn't really matter because they're on the opposite sides of the page. Then I can glue this down. And then when it closes, yeah, that works well. So I'm actually gonna just glue um, where the words are, I think, because the other one doesn't need it because it's a little bigger, but it doesn't matter. Um, close to the seam, but not on top of it. And there you go. There's a, a double pocket one. I think that one is really cool. And we could trim this down. Um, if we wanted, I guess. So it looks symmetrical on that side of the page. Oh, sorry, I know I'm off camera. I have a hard time with this, sorry. Okay, so what's top and what's bottom? That's top. <laughs> I glued them backwards, but that can be fixed. I'm going to open that up. There we go. <laughs> top and top. Okay. And here is the bottom. So I'll just glue that pocket shut. Oh my goodness. What a disaster I am. Oh, well, it is what it is. So this one will go this way. And I am gonna punch them separate just because they have separate, different sizes to the uh, pocket. And there you go, you sew that in a signature, you have two pocket pages right there. I think I have two more here and then I'll let you go. We'll get the hang of it. Maybe we'll get one right. So here again, I'm using uh, some designer 12 by 12 designer series paper I just cut it in half this is a cheaper brand paper so it's not super thick so I kind of liked it for this so I'm gonna fold that there and this is a little bit bigger paper so I gotta I think that's part of my problem it's um, a little too wide so I'm gonna fold that like that and on this one I think I'm gonna do the same, but I am going to tear off, I think, some of that, and I want this to be this way, right? Okay, let's see if we got this finally. If not, oh well, <laughs> crafting is uh, subjective, right? If I didn't get it 100%, I apologize, Rachel. But I sure love the idea. So we are getting them to work enough that they could be sewn into a signature. So I'm just going to go with that. And I'll fold that over. Make my pocket. Try to get it straight. My pin here. I don't want to lose it. And then fold this over, but not on top of it. So I'm going to do the same here. It's 
and it goes the opposite way. And I think that is part of my problem too. I'm not paying attention. If you have directional paper, you gotta pay a little more attention. This one's not, so I could just flip it before I glued it. So that pocket is done. So now I would butt this up to here, but I see I got so much paper. So I am gonna tear that down. I don't want that much of a hinge. I think that will just make my life a little easier. And then you got a piece for collage, there you go. So I'm gonna glue this on top of this, yes. So then that is only a little bit bigger. I think I may have finally got it. Okay, top pocket, top pocket, up to the seam where the spine would be and glue it down. So, oh, I even got it to be even I went a little farther over, but you know what? You can always cover that white space um, with some lace or ribbon or stenciling. Oh, and then I got this to wrap around here too. Man, oh man, I am just not getting this. See? We're always learning. But there's no mistakes in crafting, right? There you go. Even though it's not 100% the way she did it, it worked and I like the idea. So then those are pretty much the same. We'll punch a hole. And then I will come in and decorate and ink these after, but I will put those in my finished um, page box. So look how quick it is. It doesn't take too long. So let's do one more of those and let's try to get the paper the way I want it. So I'm gonna fold in. And I think this one too, I'm going to take some off. And I don't mind having that for collage. Just so it's not so wide. I'll do that one too. I'll try to do it straight so the pockets. Okay. Let us see all my little ends here we can get this going. So this one is more directional. I want it up so it will go this way. And then I will fold it over to make a nice size pocket. That is yeah, less than five inches. So we can glue that down. Fold this over, leaving a tiny space so there's room to sew in a signature. Make this pocket, which will go this way. See, that's where I'm not there. That's, yeah. Sorry, thinking out loud. <laughs> okay, so this will fold this way. Okay, so let's glue this. And along the bottom here. Fold it in on itself to make the pocket. And you can see my lines aren't real straight. I've been, uh, this has been moving around a bit. And then you would put it Mm, so does that make that too big? It does. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I am going to rip that off. Let's try ripping it off this time. Let's see if it will rip off. Maybe I'm making a big mistake. And let's just glue this right here. And then leaving a little spot for the hinge. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, Rachel, but in the end, I got the gist of it. 
and thank you for, sh for sharing because I like this idea, even though I'm going to have to go back and rewatch Rachel's video. So there we go. Let's punch a hole at the top. And there we go. So let's recap. We made off screen. I made, I think I made two or three. And then we just did five on. So look at that for your stash. So a little pocket page that can be sewn into a signature. Yeah, see, I like this better, how I did this. And then that's on the outside. So that's what I think I was doing wrong. But anyway, I found a remedy. It works for me. Different paper. Use what's in your stash. I always say shop your stash. Um, don't have to go out and buy stuff. Use up what you have. I do think the digital is my favorite one because it is kind of collage. I don't know. It's just so pretty, but we will leave that at that today. Thank you for joining me. Um, as I get myself back into making my videos, I do enjoy this craft. So have a great day, everyone, and go check out Rox Roxy's video. Bye now.